How are we doing, Will? Very good, man. How are you? I'm great. I'm so excited for this one. Yeah, Patrick this is going to be today. a good one. This is going to be a great one. It's going to be really cool. I've spoken to him before in the past, done some interviews and that, and he's just fantastic. So knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah I'm looking wicked. forward to speaking to him. He seems a good laugh. I've seen him in the training all a few times. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing seeing what he's got to say. Yeah. How are you doing today, anyway? You good? Good, man. Good. Good. Looking forward to this. Looking forward to it. In a t-shirt today. Looking, looking fresh. Looking good. I've got to wear t-shirts more. Note to self. Absolutely. I'll see you right. Get the tattoos out. Right. Looking good. Looking hungry. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. For the ladies? Always. Now you show always, me your, your Always open towel. for that. <laughs> what? Apply within. Um, should we get this done, then? Let's get him rolling. I'm excited, get, man. He's yeah. there. He's on his Wi-Fi. He's just finished training. Yeah, he's just, yeah. Just go for it, yeah? Let's hope he's had a good day at training. Otherwise, this could be awkward. Let's do it. He's answering this. Oh yeah, within yeah. three rings. If he's answered it within three rings, he's had a great day. Hello, oh, Patrick. Go. How you doing? Hey, good. Thanks. He's had a you? great day. I'm how, great. You yeah. how you doing, buddy? You all right? It's Will Bailey here. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Good. good. Hi. Well, it's great. To ha- it's great to have you on, Patrick. I know you're super busy. You've just finished yeah. training, and uh, fantastic. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, had a nice practice. I'll practice again seven thirty with team off tonight. Oh, so nice. yeah. Hey, can I just say I'm so I'm, I'm so jealous. What a what a great life. Team mobile at seven thirty PM tonight. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I, I remember when I spoke to you like a few years ago and you said like when you were younger, you, you grew up with Timo Bolt in the same hall as you. So it's such an inspiration. And now like your team buddies, you play against him in all the tournaments. It must be great. Yeah, definitely. I mean, his father was one of my first coaches also. We started yeah. in the same club. So yeah, the connection was there quite early. So yeah, we never kept uh, losing eyes from each other. And yeah, he helped me a lot also when I was young. So yeah, I owe him a lot. Sure, sure. I mean, for, for like the young, the young kids watching, so you've got a lot of young followers, which is cool. I mean, what, what sort of advice do you have for them when they were growing up? When they're growing up, what, what sort of key milestones did you have that you think made you become who you are today? Any sort of things you um, did as, in practice? And Yeah, I, for me, always the most important was to have fun. I mean, um, nobody ever like put me in practice and said, you have to practice now, but it was more like I wanted to. Um, so this joy of this beautiful game was always so important for me. Um, and that helps me also when I have some days where I think, oh, today I want to stay in bed or I feel a little bit lazy. But in the end, I know when I go to the hall, I just uh, love this sport. So this helped me a lot. Plus, um, yeah, somehow to learn um, when you're losing. Like when I was young, I was a very, very bad loser. Like I was always crying and throwing records and everything. Um yeah, sort of learn how to lose and sort of, yeah, take the right things out of every loss. Um, and this, yeah, helped me a lot. I had also many great coaches with Helmut Hampel who did like everything for me. My parents were driving me to every practice every day, one hour, one way. I think it's also important that, yeah, you surround yourself or that you have luck also with the people around you. Um, but this all helped me a lot. I was young. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you've improved a lot over the last, what well, I think, one year, do you think? How have you how have you done that? And like, is it with your training, has that changed at all over the last year or so? Or like, um, has it just happened, something's clicked and you just seem to be, especially in, in the German league and in the cup and everything, you're, you're smashing it. So yeah, well done <laughs> to you for that, man. Uh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, I changed a little bit. I changed some things. I moved to uh, Saarbrücken away from Düsseldorf to, yeah, just like be for myself a little bit more. Like I can, yeah, I have a little bit more my own decisions now. I can say when I want to practice, what I want to practice. Um, I have a little bit more opportunities. Um, yeah, over the last year, I changed my physical training. I don't practice so much with weights anymore. I make more like with my own body weight. Uh, that helped me that I was not injured anymore for over one year. Before I was like injured almost every year several times. So um, I knew that this is important that I try to 
get my body as good as it is right now. Um, yeah, plus this right and smart training. Like I practice a little bit less than before on the table, but I do more physical. I do more before the practice. I wow. always go in the hall half an hour before every practice. To do some exercises, I stay a little bit longer after the practice. So all these things who are a little bit uncomfortable and who are not so much fun to do, actually, um, I force a little bit more, and this helps me a lot to to stay in shape. This is yeah, this is really interesting uh, for me personally. I will ask a selfish question because I find it interesting myself. Uh, I train mm. uh, table tennis about five hours per day, but I don't know. Okay. I don't know, like. Um, like some, t- I, I kind of like a grafter. I like, we have set exercises and we, and we do the exercises. We work hard. Like, I don't know. We do a couple of regular exercises, then a couple of irregular exercises. And we don't have like a lot of experimental, you know, training or, you know, fun with the training because it's like, you know, that's it. And that's, you know, do you, do you do like different things in your training or are you, are you, is it just like standard set exercises or, or do you sometimes experiment and do different things, you know? Yeah, it it depends a little bit. Like, um, yeah, when we're in, I mean, in the summer preparation, when you have like two, three, four weeks of only practice, I mean, they are go hard. They are make a lot of footwork. They are try to get the basics for the whole season. Um, there's a lot of sweat in this hall then. But like during the season, I try to, yeah, learn a little bit from my matches that I had on the weekend or during the week. Uh, watch my matches and then, yeah, go to my coach and we decide a little bit, okay, this was good in the last match. Maybe it can be even better. This was not so good. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I'm not the guy who who always does the same. Like, I need a little bit, like, variation to to have this joy, to, to not always have the same in practice. And, yeah, this helps me a lot that I, that I keep having fun. You know? mm. Yeah, it sounds like then, you know, you said you've moved from Dostoff to Saarbrücken and you're a lot more independent. And it sounds mm. like you analyze yeah. your game very well. And I think that's something interesting. Maybe a lot of players don't do that enough, but analyze where they've gone well in matches, where they've not gone so well in matches, mm. you know, and, and, and being really critical. Yeah, definitely. Like this is also something I had to learn. Uh, when I was younger, I didn't what didn't like to watch the matches, especially the sets where I lost or the matches that I lost. Right. But uh, this was also important for me to, to learn to watch these and to find something interesting out of these because yeah, when you watch your own matches you always find something that can be better or also gives you confidence when you say oh this I improved now because I practiced it the last one or two weeks just so one, yeah just, it gives me a lot yeah yeah just one more thing on your like physical preparation mm-hmm. like do you mm-hmm. do, do you do like yoga or something like this you know or, or you know is it is it when you say no weights is it like um, body weight training sort of like you know press ups and chin ups and stuff like this or is it in core yeah. obviously core work and stuff like this do you do um yeah. yeah do you do yoga like a lot or stretch a lot of stretching and stuff like this yeah not, yoga i actually don't do uh, i did it once but i had so much uh, pain after <laughs> yeah yeah same, <laughs> i was same not here. Uh, uh, calm yeah. enough for this but yeah. Uh, yeah i do a lot of for my core i do a lot of like speed training uh, because I'm quite tall and it's not so easy for me to, to get the speed that especially the Asians are having mm. but I also got much better in this one to yeah, to do some footwork exercises besides the table um, yeah and the core stability I practice a lot of my left side so I yeah because I'm playing all the time with my right side so mm, I have a little bit of balance in my body um, yeah to keep away injuries for sure I mean, what I like about your game is you're so well balanced. You have a fantastic backhand and forehand. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really spectacular to watch. I remember watching you at the World Team mm. Championships last year. Thank and, you. Uh, it's great. Mm. And you played really well recently. Qatar Open, you took out Simon Gauzy, Kokiniwa, mm. another really strong win. Yeah. And then uh, you played Xu Xing. So, so what is it like playing the Chinese guys? I, knew, I mean, Timo's had quite a bit of success over the years. And have you learned mm. anything from him? You know, what is your confidence and mindset like when you play against a Chinese player yeah like it's very tough I mean uh, against Shushin I played several times now and like in the beginning I felt I was many times leading 1-0 in the mm. second set I was leading and suddenly they can get yeah they go one step higher um, and this is the most difficult thing yeah to adapt I think like to know okay 
he go one step higher. I also have to move one step higher now um, to to keep up with him. At this, I didn't manage so well in the last encounters with them. Um, but this is the key, I think. Like they can always play better or norm like many times when they have to. And then you have to keep up with this pace. Like you, have, like they change tactics. You have to see that they change tactics, and you have to change it again. So it happens quite much in the game. So you have to be prepared not only before the game, but also in the game to to maybe change some things quite fast. Because if you miss these chances, then it's over very fast. Very, yeah, quickly, yeah. And obviously, like you said, you're training with Timo tonight. Do, do you do you try and learn from him? What, what does Timo say? Because he seems to do well against the Chinese. The Chinese are a big threat to Timo. And, you know, you know, you are the next man in line. You know, you, you Archer, Ricardo, you boys are, are big. Um, what 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 is the the thing to go forward? What 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 does it? What is it going to take basically? Yeah, he always says that it's just you have to play many times against them, mm. and then when you beat them like one time or two times, then you have this confidence also to beat them more times. Like you need to somehow break this, right? Um, and it's just the experience. I mean, they are a little bit faster than everything that what we are used to. Um, yeah, we never practice with them. Uh, we don't get the speed. But yeah, like he said, he had to get used to it, and suddenly he had the speed to block these balls to to react faster. Mm. Uh, he was also playing in the Super League. Mm. This he said helped him a lot, also. Um, so I guess it's just to be patient and to wait for this one moment, um, and then hopefully take them. Sure. Well, how how hard is it to get into the Chinese Super League? Have you tried yourself? Because I I know that Timo's played there, and so is Otrov, but. Mm. Do do the Chinese players want European players to go there? Because obviously, like you said, playing in the Chinese Super League can really help your level. Is that a goal of yours to play mm. in the Chinese Super League? Is that, is yes, that a thing? definitely. I would love to play there. I mm. would love to play there. Um, so far, it was not. I mean, I didn't speak with them yet, also because now, anyway, it's also Olympic preparation. Now, mm. I think. But yeah, after Olympics, I would be definitely open for it. I mean, we can only play in the summer because we're playing. In Germany, yeah, during the whole year, where it's only one short break in the summer. So anyway, this is the only possible chance to play there. But yeah, I would definitely be very open. I hope there will be a chance. Nice one. I was just um, looking at some of the matches from the league for Saarbrücken. Are you enjoying playing, uh, you know, for your club? Do you, you know, with the, your, your teammates? I know um, Darko, Darko Jorgic is... Uh, yeah. He's, I know him quite well, and he's a really, really good guy, isn't he? And uh, he, he always improving. Are you enjoying, uh, you know, playing with him? Yeah, definitely. It's so much fun in that book. I mean, we're in the final now. We beat Düsseldorf. So um, with this young team, like I just enjoy it to suddenly be the oldest. Normally, I was always the youngest guy. Yeah, that's but now I'm this yeah. guy here who, who like, who can help them. They ask me a lot, and yeah, I like it so much to to give them some advices. And then when you see that in the end, it pays off and we're in the final and no one ever expected us to go so far. Um, this makes me just very happy. And yeah, it's so nice to be with these young, young guys in the team. Also Thomas Polanski is a very nice guy. So mm. yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. Congratulations there. And I saw your Facebook post. You seemed Thank overwhelmed you. by getting to the final. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. There were so many spectators in the hall. Also like it was just an amazing evening. That's wicked. Yeah. So the 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 final is on in May, right? May the twenty fifth. So be sure to uh, yeah. tune in. Yeah. I'll be exactly. tuning in for that. It's gonna be fantastic. So how how would you prepare with the team then? Will you and Darko meet up a week before and train? All yeah, day? we yeah. yeah go on. Yeah, we end up working anyway. Like after World Championship, before we have this um, European Cup final also um, against Hannibal. They will prepare together with the whole team and yeah, then we have, I think, two weeks where we can fully prepare for this final in May. Yeah. You're, you're a busy boy. Quite tough schedule. <laughs> yeah, it's quite tough schedule actually. <laughs> the day after this final, we go directly to China Open. So, wow. yeah, there would be not so much time to celebrate, but I yeah. mean, it's a long way anyway. <laughs> sure. Sure you what, what's, your, what's your tips for jet lag? I mean, I can't, oh. honestly, I mean, I, I've had to sometimes go to, I don't know, China or something and then straight away back to wherever. And, and I don't, I, I'm not, all I'm doing is video recording. I'm not even playing table tennis. You guys have to play table yeah, yeah. tennis. <laughs> it's, it's tough like hell. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I try to, 
like the first day I go there, I try to survive somehow. Like I don't want to fall asleep. Like even though you you get so tired during yeah lunchtime or something after lunch, I try to stay awake all the time to be so tired in the evening and to go maybe two hours later in the bed um, than normal. Mm-hmm. And then normally I sleep good the first night. The second night is always a little bit critical. But um, yeah, I mean it's the same for everybody. So <laughs> it's just a fight. Yeah. <laughs> You just have to fight and not complain. I think this is the easiest way. <laughs> that's, that's actually true. Yeah. If you start complaining, you start doing your own head in. It's mentally, yeah, you've got to be sure. strong. You've got to be like, I'm feeling great. Exactly. Like, I'm feeling great. I'm ready for this. Yeah. Exactly. Like you complain and then you say, I have to sleep now and this, and you make too much pressure. And then anyway, you don't mm. sleep. So, yeah. I was thinking to myself, you know, how hard it, how hard it is to be good at table tennis. We all know, don't we? It's, it's tough to be good. Like, do you have time for anything outside of table tennis or is, is table tennis your life? Like, is that every day are you just like, is table tennis just all consuming for you? Or do you, do you have other things that, that sort of you can take your mind off the game? Yeah, I think this is very important. I think to not think 24 uh, seven on table tennis, at least for me. Mm. Um, I also love to hang out when I have the time for it with my, Friends, I still have many friends from school who are not from table tennis. So when I go there, the mm-hmm. first five minutes, they ask me how it is going. And that's after we speak about football or we yeah. speak about anything else but table tennis. That's, that's, and this they know cool. also that, that's nice, that yeah. I enjoy this. Yeah. So this was always very important for me. Like when I'm, it's the same, like when people go to uh, yeah, a normal job, when they go home, they also don't want to be confronted with this, with this job. So for me, it's a little bit the same. Like when I go home, out of the hall, I, yeah, I yeah. do something else. I meet with friends or family to, to just, yeah, recharge for the next yeah. day. Sure. What's your, uh, what's your favorite type of film? Oh, the usual suspect. Yeah. I don't know if you know it. This, uh, this I enjoy a lot. This I like very much. Do you watch uh, Game of Thrones? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. starting soon. I it think. Is, yeah. Next yeah. week. <laughs> next week. Don't miss it. Ooh. Fine time. Yeah. <laughs> this I'm looking forward to. This is a good yeah. expectation uh, for table tennis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need this. You need this. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Who, who do you think will win Game of Thrones? Ooh, that's a tough question. That's a tough question. I'm. I hope not the White Walkers. So. Oh uh, yeah, it's true. We'll see. It's gonna be very but, interesting. Yeah. Uh, very yeah. interesting. We'll see. I'm gonna have to watch this. I'm it's only six this. episodes, it? I think. Yeah, it's only six. Yeah, Will, Will, you're not watching Game of Thrones. I've never seen it, man. But everyone's talking about it, so I need to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell, tell yeah. him, Patrick. You have to. Yeah, yeah. I have to check it out. <laughs> Who's your favorite character from it? Um, <laughs> so many. That's, good, that's a good one. There's so many good ones. Yeah. I don't even remember who's still alive, actually. Yeah, was yeah, such a that, long time. <laughs> hey, no spoilers, yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> Not to spoiler, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's um, yeah. That's great. So, I hope the dragons win in the end. Yeah, that, that would be nice, that would be nice. Yeah. So, <laughs> Patrick, who, who inspires you? Like, when, when you were younger, did you have anyone you looked up to or, you know? Yeah, in table tennis, I mean, it was Timo um, because we knew each other quite uh, well when, when I was young already. Um, that's so cool. Can I just interrupt you there? So that's so cool, right? So you, you looked up to Timo Bell and now you're training, yeah, with, you're training with him later today. This is yeah, so it's cool. Yeah. And now I beat him finally last time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. you've, you've, played, you've played him so many times. It's epic. You guys have yeah. some unbelievable yeah. rally, rallies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, Federer I like to watch a lot. Um, I think everybody does actually. Just, just, but, a, just a quick question. Just a quick question. Yeah, yeah. Just to interrupt you. Yeah. You know, Timo, he comes across like such a nice guy, doesn't he? Oh, but if you beat him, like, does he does he get annoyed or does he is he like really secretly really like he want you know he wants to have a go at you because you're young, you're up and coming <laughs> player, and he's like, oh come on. I bet he. I bet he does. I bet he does. Yeah, yeah. Deep down, he's like, oh, I'm not deep, listening to Patrick ever again. Deep down, he hates you, doesn't he? Like, if you start beating him all the time, he's gonna be like, oh my god. 
I think actually that he hates it when he loses to yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it didn't happen so much, but <laughs> yeah, we're making always some fun with each other. When when he beat me in Europeans yeah. after, he made some for me not so funny things, but for him. And now I turned it around after the last victory. So yeah, we're making a lot of fun when we beat each other, and yeah, we give it give each other some some funny quotes. Um, yeah. He can be actually very funny. It is, so, yeah. It's great yeah. because it's great because you're all such good players. You, Dima, you know, Timo, you're all, and you can compete mm. against each other. You can all beat each other. And so the rivalry is always going to be, a little bit of rivalry is always going to be there, isn't it? You know, you're from the same country, so it, it's it's normal. Yeah, definitely. You don't want to lose against the, the other guys. But it's also nice to see that, yeah, after a while, I mean, after this day, I mean, we're making fun about it. And, yeah. and I mean, we like each other a lot. So, yeah, it's just good to see that it's, that it's a nice atmosphere. Yeah, even exactly. though we arrive as well, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, you know, like when I'm playing, I do, I do tend to make a lot of noise. Like it annoys people. It annoys people in the hall sometimes. It makes a <laughs> lot of noise. Yeah, like I grunt a lot. You know, when I'm playing forehands and I'm really working hard, I, I hit the ball at two miles an hour. But, <laughs> but, but it, I, I'm trying hard. Yeah, you know, Ovtrov, I think is even louder than me. Like we did a, we did a grunt, we did a grunt test, and it, and, okay. he, and he grunts louder than me. Now, does that does that does that get on your nerves when you're training with them, or or are you okay with that? Because I know I annoy a lot of people. I know I annoy a lot, annoy a lot of people doing this. I got used to it actually in the beginning. Like it sounds like I don't know, especially when it's more people yeah, in the hall. Someone's dying or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, but eventually, you get used to it. You spend so many hours with this guy in the hall, so. For me, it's no problem anymore. It would be weird if you would not do it, actually. Yeah, I, yeah, because I, I don't think I don't think I've ever seen him play without making a noise. It would look strange. Yeah, what? Would. What's yeah, his, I think what's his he, reasoning for it? I think you just need it, like to I don't know, you breathe out with mm. purpose when you do it. If you get more tension in your body, like I'm also doing it a little bit, mm -hmm. but not so anybody hears it. I think, but yeah. I think. Yeah, same like with Sharapova and tennis, which is extreme. But I think people need it to to have confidence and to yeah. have the best tension in their body. I don't think they just do it to annoy people. I don't know how about you, but yeah, um, I, I think timing is all time, time. You know, timing and just like consistency. Sometimes I don't know. You just feel like you've got a rhythm when you're making the. Not, I don't know. Yeah. Will, you know, Will, yeah, Will, Will does it to show off to the ladies, <laughs> the ladies you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, ladies, look at me. No, come on. I've actually read some research before in boxing. So you know in boxing, they make the noise, right? Yeah, and like yeah. you say, it keeps the relaxation because you're breathing out. Mm. And, and, and so a lot of players don't breathe when they play table tennis. So actually by making yeah. the noise, it forces you to breathe properly. And maybe True. that yeah. could be part of it as well. But um. We'll have to ask Otra one yeah. day. Anyway. That's <laughs> good. Good topic. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> I think I will try it tonight. Yeah, practice. yeah. <laughs> I will annoy team up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So, so you're, it sounds like you're training a lot. You've already trained today already, right? So you're training tonight at 7.30. It's quite late. So, so Yeah. Mm. Quite an exception because Timo couldn't come earlier to Düsseldorf. So okay. I said, yeah. What, Let me do it tonight. Hey, man. So he needed someone. Man, I just <laughs> wanted to ask an, another one just for the, all, the, all your fans and the all the people that play table tennis and love love the game want to improve like you know you were saying about you don't train as much table tennis now as you as you used to do and you, you think that's helped you because you're doing like more physical as well is it like once per day then mm. that you're training like one session per day one one track one actual table tennis session per day yeah i Normally. do like more like one two one two like a little bit yeah, yeah monday one time tuesday two times a little bit like this but more importantly what i learned is that when I practice, I practice 100%, like with my head. Yeah. Uh, and when I feel that I don't have this 100% anymore, then I better stop. Because first of all, it's better for my body to not get injured when I'm not 100% there and do some stupid movements. Yeah. And also, it just doesn't bring me anything anymore. Then I rather like stop, do my yeah physical things after the practice and be recharged the next day. Um, yeah. One or two years ago, I would stand there maybe one, two hours more in the hall, but then I'm so tired the next day, so the practice is also not that good. So it was more like a quality thing for me, and this helped me now a lot. 
Mm, I noticed that as a player. Yeah. You can go like a downward spiral, can't you? Working hard, working hard, working. You think you're doing good, but you're you're going down almost. You're working too hard. You need to be clever yeah. with, with what you're yeah. doing. But, yeah, it depends also. Like In the summer preparation, of course, they will practice. They will go over this limit because you need this basic mm. for the whole season. But during the season, you just have to be fresh and yeah, be from the head, like be there 100%. And only then you can improve. Mm-hmm. improve the small details you still need for sure for sure so okay so you're training with Timo tonight I just want to set the scene do you, when you when you're both practicing uh, is is he helping you or are you helping him is a tip does he give you tips when you're practicing and and also do you what sort of secrets have you ever took from Timo I mean obviously he's he's done so much and probably he's got so much knowledge of the game have you got anything you can share mm. I mean is it constant is he is he like a is he just like an encyclopedia <laughs> uh, actually when we practice then we just compete like then we celebrate every point we make against each other so there's not so much helping because <laughs> both want to make every point yeah. like um, there's quite much chores and everything in the practice when we <laughs> practice um, yeah but I learned from him exactly this that he's when he's practicing he's really there 100% um, there's not one point where he's unfocused mm. and yeah. I think this he did very well his whole career so I think uh, that's why it's also one reason why he's so good or, um, as he is because in pra- in the match also he's always 100% focused and I think this he practices already in the in every practice like mm-hmm. in each practice I saw him there was not one unfocused practice okay. uh, doesn't mean that he doesn't have fun I mean he's always having fun but he's also 100% focused and this is I think the key mm, see maybe also the key is to having a headband as well yeah, maybe I'll try. <laughs> hey, what? What? Imagine uh-huh. I will wear this tonight. Yeah, he would not be so happy, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like claimed. He's like claimed that style. I think. Ev- I think everyone should start wearing a headband. Yeah, yeah it's a good look. What, what, what's the reason, yeah. what's the reasoning for it? I think he just wants to look like Rambo. Yeah, he looks no, great. I don't know. Um, <laughs> maybe it's great. also because he's losing. He's losing some hair and it looks better. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So, Patrick. No, I don't know the actual reason. <laughs> That's great. It's <laughs> funny. You have to ask him tonight and let us know. Yeah. Okay, I will ask you and let you know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm looking forward to that. That's <laughs> oh, funny. Quite, right. Question. So you're a, you're in a, you're you are a competitor on the on the circuit. You play all the events, the world tours. Bundesliga, everything else. What I ask this question a lot to like, you know, officials in table tennis, you know, commentators. What What do you think personally can be done to make table tennis stand out more and become more of a, a global popular sport? Oof, that's a very tough question. Uh, I think it's a million dollar many question. people are, yeah, are trying already. Uh, <laughs> It's tough. I mean, you have football and football takes so much in this world. A world. I mean, almost everything. Mm. Um, I, I mean, I know it from people that I know who are not watching so often table tennis, but when they come to the hall, they're always very impressed and they want to come back. Yeah. I think the most is important is to first somehow get them to the sport. I mean, we have, in Germany, I know we have almost no television time. So the people have no chance to, to watch it. I mean, that they have no chance to even come to the sport if they are not playing table tennis by themselves. Uh, so somehow you have to pick the people up somehow. But I mean, it's hard to know how because then some people would have done it already. And it's, we should not complain too much because mm. it's already quite okay in Germany. I mean, um, we can all live from it somehow. And I mean, it's... A, it's a high complaining, but to make it even more popular, I think you have to somehow get more television times and somehow get the people to the halls. Um, yeah. But, sure. I, I, think, yeah, Joe, I think, Patrick, yeah, I think, I think you I completely agree with you there actually. And, um, it's about getting the fans involved, getting the spe- spectators. And I mean, Germany do a pretty good job though. I think the league is, it always has lots of people watching. And like you said, you had 1200 mm. people watching you recently. That must've been an awesome feeling. Yeah. Have you, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. Have you seen much of T2? Have you seen the T2 Diamond event? Um, have you seen any of the uh, the prospectus for it this year? Yeah, I've watched it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's quite interesting. So this year there's going to be three events. Um, 
and you know they are trying to do different things. I mean, what do you think of the what do you think of T two Diamond as a whole? Then do you think that can help? You know, trying to change some of the rules and different yeah. things. Yeah, I think it's tough to say. Um, I mean, it's I think it's not so perfect when you when you play tournaments one year before Olympics uh, suddenly with different rules. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this is not maybe the best timing, but otherwise I think T two is a great event because yeah, I mean I watched it uh, two years ago when um, when Timo and all the others were playing. I mean it looked quite professional outside. And with the new rules, I definitely like. I like this system that that um, it should go faster. That you only have like ten or fifteen seconds between the balls. I mean, it was easier to watch it live. It was not so many breaks between. True. Mm. Uh, but it it feels yeah not so perfect to do it like one year before Olympics. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my opinion. Like but I, otherwise, I think it's a great event. Mm. Like. Um, I think it can be the future, actually. All right, that's that's great too. I mean, and, and and actually, from a positive point of view, I I personally really do feel table tennis is on the rise. You know, social media is getting a lot stronger. Mm. You know, I think it's getting more popular. I don't know about if you see that yourself, but for me, I think it's it's doing great, and you've got to keep pushing forward. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think also, yeah, how the how it was produced. Um, I think this was. Yeah, on on another level, and I think this is what table tennis needs now. Yeah, like to, to have better productions and yeah, get it more to to social media. Mm-hmm. Definitely, fantastic. <laughs> Lastly, Patrick, I know you got a training session shortly with Timo. World Championships is coming up. How are you feeling for it? Sorry, um? uh, so the World Championships is coming up in Budapest. Yeah, feeling good, feeling confident. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, I mean, now I've played quite good recently, so. I'm looking forward to it. World Championships is always something special, and uh, my family is also coming and watching. So, oh, that's amazing! I'm very motivated. I'm very motivated for this. It's fantastic. Yeah. Just you got to just gotta go for it. Every match, one at a time. It's gonna be awesome. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely. That's it. Okay, guys, make sure so you follow Patrick Francisco on Instagram. I know you like your Instagram, Patrick. Yes. Thank you. That's good. <laughs> It's good. I think it's great. All the play- I think it's great. All the players are using Instagram, you know, mm-hmm. and and posting about their lives and stuff. It's awesome. You really get to see an insight into what you're doing. Yeah, I think it's important also to show the to show the sports to some people mm-hmm. who are not playing table tennis. I think it's it's very important mm-hmm. for our sports. Brilliant, man. Thanks, thanks so much for the interview. I've I've found it really really incredible to listen to you speak about the game. So yeah, thanks for your time, man. And yeah, hopefully. You'll do the business in the world championships. That's it. You know, get gold medal all the way. All the way. Of course. I'll try. That's good <laughs> luck. And enjoy training. Enjoy training with Timo tonight. Thank you. I'll ask him about the banana. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Patrick. Yeah, you're a top man. Thanks, man. Okay, guys. Cheers, bro. See you Thank soon. Thank you. Cheers, no man. problem. Cheers. See you. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What a guy, eh? Oh, he's top man. What a guy. Wow. I really enjoyed that. He was fantastic, wasn't he's he? Great. He's, he seems he's, so fun. You know, he says that oh, I go out with my friends and that, and uh, he's, got, yeah, he's, he's, he's for sure the best. The uh, oh, he's just up for it, isn't he? He's so like he seems so natural. Like so, he just was himself, wasn't he? And, and that's what I love about him. He, he doesn't seem yeah. He seems real, you know. Yeah, real character. Yeah, right? real character. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I yeah. I mean, I think you were right earlier when you said about the comp- competition amongst the German team. Mm. Dimitri, you know, Ricardo Wolf is doing really well yeah, at the yeah. moment. And that competition really Fantastic. sparks improvement, you know? Fantastic. And, and like like I said, like, uh, Timo's not going to want to lose to him, is he? Oh, Timo, no. Timo will not want to lose. Dima will not want to <laughs> lose to him. <laughs> Coming through. So you can feel like the ten- there'll be tension yeah. there. There'll be tension there. And that's brilliant. That's what you want. There's a, and that'll make a good team, you know, as long as it doesn't go the wrong way. And I don't think it will with those guys. They sound like they enjoy training with each other and enjoy the competition. Yeah, they've got a good management and, you know, yeah. fantastic coaches and... Brilliant, isn't it? Fantastic. Good well, set. yeah, I mean, they're going to be... They're going to win a medal in, in, in the Olympics, yeah? Yeah, in totally. team. yeah, yeah, that's big. You know what? That's actually a good point. Um, yeah. Those players in the national teams competing for a spot on the team in Rio. Cool. That is intense. That I mean, intense. not Rio, sorry. Uh, Tokyo. Tokyo. Mm. Tokyo, you know, it's... Uh, I thought I was going back in time. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we were in 2015 for a yeah. minute. Never mind. Yeah, that's fantastic. So, Will, again, yeah. really enjoyed that. Top, top guy, Patrick. And guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.